Hi, Tooth. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Guys, I haven't plugged my Twitter in a while. Make sure you're following. Because I post right before I go live. Cosmos Peason, I'm doing great. You know what's cute? Um, when I used to work at the daycare, everybody would call me Miss. Obviously, my name isn't Peason. But they would call me, oh, it's... They were like, oh, hi, Miss So-and-so. And, like, I was a teenager. And it was so cute. Did you have a good weekend? Yeah, we'll talk about it. I got to hang out with my favorite sister. Because she finally had a weekend off for once. But now they changed her schedule. So, <laughs> it's so... It sucks because she doesn't have a consistent schedule yet. Because she hasn't been with her new job long enough. So, like, she gets a new... She works on different days every week. It's so, like, annoying. I mean, Miss does mean young. Oh, yeah, true. True, true. I mean, in the States, like, using Miss or Mrs. doesn't matter too much. Like, I know that Mrs. means you're married, but it doesn't matter. I kind of like how informal the American language is. Yeah, ma'am. Oh, man. Ma'am is like, if you're calling somebody a ma'am. W.S. in the chat. W is in the chat. Oh, my God. Thank you for the 19 months, Kim Pewter with the E-R. Thank you, Kim. Can we get some wimps in chat? Thank you. Guys, did the TTS work that time? It should have. But thank you, Kim. Yes, W. I'm working, but I got you on my headphones. Aw, man, so I can't say bad words. I can't say bad words now. I think it's so funny when you guys, like, admit to watching the stream when you're at work. Like, you're just literally saying... That you hate your job. You just better hope your boss ain't watching. Also, one minute till I turn face cam on? I'm not even kidding. Oh, wait, guys. I have to be quiet today. <laughs> I have to be quiet. <laughs> I'll say why in a bit. When I turn face cam on, I'll, I'll say my truth. <laughs> Okay, I'm almost done making my posts. You know, we gotta let everybody know that I'm live early today. Are you streaming in a library? No, but like, how funny would that be? Like, <laughs> like you know how people... Okay, three, two, one, ads should be done. Like, you know how people do the um, the library videos where they have to be like really quiet in the library and then I mean, have you guys seen the tiktoks of people doing like interviews in the library and they have to like whisper into their lab mics i think it's so funny also i haven't worn this top in so long because it has it it hasn't fit but look it fits again it's her yes it's me also i did my nails on friday i, I was feeling orange i don't know why but I was feeling orange. I think it's because summer is almost over. Anyway, hello. Good morning, good afternoon. It is 9.44 a.m. I'm live really early. It's because I woke up really early and I was like, I just want to get stream done. You know, I got work to do. But we had Kim and Tooth in the starting soon screen. Welcome in, guys. And once again, thank you, Kim, for the 19-month resub. Holy moly. That's a long time. You know what's funny? Before Kim started chatting, they got like three months worth of gifted subs. So, in actuality, that 19 months is only like technically 16. I'm sorry, I did call you out. And now you can't reply because you're at work. <laughs> okay. So, this I haven't streamed in like four days. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not even yet. You know what? I need more money. <laughs> 
I haven't streamed in a few days because on Thursday and Friday, I had dentist appointments. And as you guys know, I haven't gone to the dentist in like, no joke, 15 years. No, not 15. Like 10 years. Probably like 10 years. And the last time I went to the dentist was, it was for Brokies. Because in my county and in my school district, they had like a free dental van for all the Brokies to go to after school. So I got like a deep... um like plaque cleaning when I was I think 12 and it sucked because at the time dental insurance was not included in Medicaid so that was the, I only had my first dental appointment when they started including it in Medicaid back in like 2012 and it sucked it was really scary it was like an RV and it was like some random guy but it was from the state so it was fine and I haven't gone to the dentist since and you guys don't see my teeth often because I don't, like, open my mouth much when I talk. It's just how I talk. And apparently, the British people don't open their mouth very much when they talk, too, like, dialect-wise. So, I think that's why I've been asked if I have a British accent sometimes. But anyway, because when I talk, I only really move my bottom lip. Don't look. Don't be weird. Anyway, so I found it a few months ago because, as you guys know, I have a wisdom tooth coming in. I hopefully can get it removed <sighs> probably September because we don't know when we're flying out yet and I don't want to schedule a surgery and then find out we've got to fly so I hopefully can get it removed next month but anyway I had to schedule a cleaning before the surgery so I had to get <laughs> I have two more left I had to get deep gum cleanings so they they clean like underneath your gums and I didn't know this. When you floss your teeth, you're not supposed to floss just between your teeth. You're supposed to like floss like up in your gums. I didn't know that. You know, I wasn't taught proper dental hygiene when I was younger. Like, but you're supposed to floss in your gums. My mind was blown. So because of that, <laughs> there was so much shit in my gums. TMI. But you know, it's just how it is. So Back in, I think I had my appointment scheduled in, what was it, April or May? Because they couldn't see me until August. I think it was May. Because, yeah, they scheduled me three months out. It was May. Because I was going in for initial cleaning, and they're like, girl, your gums are really messed up, so you got to come back for, like, deep cleanings. I was like, okay, why is the music so soft? So, I have, I have to go in four times for each quadrant of my mouth. So I went in twice this week. They cleaned my upper teeth. And girl, oh my god. <laughs> it was the difference. Like looking at my... I'm not showing you because I, I don't want to zoom in. I don't think you guys want to see my teeth. The difference of like the plaque on my top compared to my bottom teeth is astronomical. It's insane. I did not realize how bad my teeth were. Because <laughs> like when you look at your teeth, you just think aesthetic. You don't think about like actual health. But my teeth were really bad. And... I went on on Thursday morning, and she was, like, the nicest lady. She was, like, this nice Asian lady. She looked a lot like my aunt. It was really weird. Um, so, for the they did this side first, and they had to put anesthetic, because when, cause they put, like, the tools under your gums. Like, if you don't do anesthetic, it's gonna really hurt. So, I went in. She put, the sh she put like, five shots of whatever the fuck it was, and I didn't feel anything. You know, I don't like drugs, but the anesthetic, oh my god. I didn't feel shit. All the tools in my mouth, I didn't feel anything. But the only bad thing was, was, um, it's only supposed to last for like three hours, but it took me like five, six hours for me to feel my gums and my lip again. It was really funny, because when I got home, I tried to like rinse out my mouth and like drink water, but like my, my top lip wasn't moving. <laughs> so like... Anytime I tried to drink water for that three hour window when I was home, like it would just like fall out of my mouth. It was hilarious. <laughs> like, so like I went in again on Monday. I was like, hey, like this is what happened. And she was like, okay, I'll just do less anesthetic. And she did like three shots versus five. And I felt it and it was horrible. So, guys, if you don't have an allergy, just take the L, take the anesthetic if you're doing um, deep gum cleaning. It's like not even worth it because. I've only gotten, like, like teeth cleaning. And when they do teeth cleaning, it's just on your teeth. It's not in your gums. Because in your teeth, you don't have, like, nerve endings. Unless, besides the parts where it's, like, in your mouth. So, yeah. So, that was Thursday and Friday. And 
in order to get to that clinic, it took like an hour, like to and from. So I was like, I'm not streaming. I'm not streaming. And like on the Thursday when I got the full anesthetic, like I couldn't talk at all. <laughs> so, and so that was two out of the four visits. So I have to go back again later in the year to get my bottom teeth cleaned. Uh, so yeah. And it was cool because it was all fully covered by Medicaid. W, I love taking your tax money, guys. And it was really funny because <laughs> one of my next appointments is scheduled on Halloween. And like, what's more scary than going to the dentist on the scariest day of the year? You know what I mean? Yeah, so that was Thursday and Friday. And then this weekend, uh, my sister had a rare weekend off. So I just hung out with her every all weekend. And we finally, we finally beat Mafia 2. Um, and let me just say, <laughs> dude... If anybody, if any of you guys have played the Mafia games, she's playing the PlayStation version. Because she bought, like, the Collector's Edition, which has the remaster and then 1, 2, and 3. Dude, Mafia 2, it felt exactly like Mafia 1, except there was, like, a lot more pinup art. It was so funny. Because, <laughs> like, the game has, like, illustrated nudity. It's wild. Like, you would pick up a collectible, and then there would just be, like, a pinup girl on screen. <laughs> Because my sister was like, wait, you should play this game on stream. I think it'd be fun. I was like, no. There's literal, like, watermelons on screen. I can't play this. Anyway. Let me just say, Mafia 1 and 2 were good. But I like the Mafia 1 better. Because, you know, things are better the first time around. Yeah, so that was this weekend. And you know what? We're here. It's Monday. It's 9.52. Yeah, so that was my weekend. Oh, also, guys... Yeah, I'm deleting that. I'm deleting that. <laughs> okay, guys. Twitch time. It's my favorite fruit. Okay. Okay. I do, Mia. Okay, also, guys. You know what? Ain't no way there's a new video on the YouTube channel. Guys, if you haven't watched it already, it's a highlight from the SAP stream. And let me just say that edit was grueling. <laughs> if you haven't had a chance to watch it, I think the best moment is 24 minutes in. It's muted. But there's like a little fail compilation, and I thought it was really funny when I was editing it. So if you watch that stream, at least watch this like three minute segment. It's like really funny. Okay, what else? What else? Trying to think. Trying to think. Oh, yeah. Guys, you know the drill. Today's stream is brought to you by... Oh, my God. Peace and art at myshopify.com. Guys, there's new prints available. And by new, I mean floral. It's just I forgot to make posts saying that there are new ones. And I think the two people who got, who made orders on launch got them in the mail. W, I hope you and or Mac and Kim enjoyed them. These will be available forever. Now... You guys have to promise to not leak. But I have something very big and huge planned for the art shop in October. And I'm not going to go into further detail besides there might be a collab in progress. And I'm very excited for it. But we're waiting till October because we want to make sure that like, I mean, me and the individual want to make sure that like, it's a banger. It's a banger. And you know what? I'll spoil a little bit, and I'm not going to talk about it again. It might be paper cuts. <gasps> not like on your finger, but like cutting out paper and gluing it together. But yeah, that is coming in October. Or, yeah, October. Okay, anything else? I'm trying to think. That's all. The fact that I almost got the collection twice. I mean, yeah, because you got two hollows and then... Kim is so lucky. I was so annoyed. Because if you buy the single, like, Lino prints, you have a 10% chance of getting a hollow. And that lucky bastard actually got a hollow. Because what I did is I used a random number generator. So, like, if they if I rolled a 1 out of 10, you got a hollow. And you got a fucking hollow. I was like, 
God damn it. I really wanted you to not get one. I really did. I wanted to, like, say fuck you. <laughs> you got scammed, but... You actually got one? Okay. I think that is all. Are we ready to jump into the meat and potatoes of today's show? Okay. Boys, the plan is simple. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um... I'm gonna give Mac one so they have the complete set. Oh, that's so cute. Aren't you guys visiting each other? Is it this week or next week? I'm so happy for you guys. Parasocially, of course. Sorry, I'm like looking at my nails. Oh yeah, the plan is simple this week. I don't think we're going to Hawaii this weekend. Probably next weekend or the following. We don't know. You know, my mom's really lagging. On planning the service. But you know, it's fine. It's whatever. I leave Wednesday night. Oh, cute. Cute. Okay. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So we need a YouTube video for this week because the only videos I have lined up to edit are the Wall Street Bets and the Cooking Mama stream. And that's going to be like 20 hour edits and I do not have 20 hours this week. So, guys, YouTube video. The new Twitch mobile layout is disgusting. Twitch staff, screenshot that and save that for your user surveys. Hi, Electra. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Oh, wait, I forgot. Um, my sister's work schedule changed. So she's back to, like, swing shift. So if I stream, I have to be kind of quiet. <laughs> so I can't be popping off. This morning, she woke up at, like, 8. And she was like, peace and please do not yell. She's like, please do not go crazy today. Because she, she starts her new schedule today. So she was like, please do something chill. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so, do not get me angry today. I don't mind the new Twitch mobile. I kind of like how you see in the vertical feed like a preview of the live stream. But the thing that, like, annoys me so much about the vertical feed for your following list is when you swipe through, you get, like, a recommended channel, a channel that you follow, and then only recommended channels. So in order for you to, like, click and find your following list, you have to click on it, and then you don't see the stream title. So it's so dumb because your following list only shows your, like, most viewed and then... Like, your recommended streams, not by viewer count. So, I know the way that I watch Twitch. Like, I look at the titles. Like, I want to see what they're doing. If it's, like, not a streamer that I, like, love. And then when you go down your following list to see who's not live, they're all grayed out. And I realized the order of the grayed out users are by the order in which you followed. So, it shows your most recently followed channel at the top. And then your oldest followed at the bottom. So if I want to scroll and watch like a Hassan VOD, I have to scroll all the way to the bottom. Because he's literally my second follow channel. It's so annoying. Are you smarter than a piece in? Oh, that doesn't have the right amount of syllables. Hi, Kiddily. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? We need a measure. Or, fuck. <laughs> we need a meter to measure you. I think I'm about the length of a, a meter. Isn't it three feet? Nah, I'm 5'2". Isn't that... That's like two meters, right? No, a meter is 100 centimeters. A yard is three feet, right? I don't know. I'm from the States. We don't do any of this metric shit. Okay, guys. New YouTube video. Sound-wise? Oh, yeah. I do have my... <laughs> I have my, like, sound settings pretty high. Because what I've noticed is a lot of small streamers have their, like, decibel at, like, 45. So when you click on their stream, it sounds like they're muted. So when I talk right now, I'm at a, a negative 15 decibel. Almost at zero when I scream. You're from the states, can't count to 100. One day we'll have 100 states. We're going to conquer the whole world. Don't worry. Okay. Anyway, going back to the main point. Today's a YouTube video because we need a video for this week. I'm still trying to stay true to just chatting every other week. New Year's resolutions. So guys, you know the drill. Say hi, YouTube. We might see this video on Saturday. Depends. Oh, yeah! I did make a poll on my Twitter about what story game we want to play next on stream. Because we haven't done a story game in a long time. We've only really been doing, like, one-off streams. So, I think this week, I want to start a story game. And on my Twitter... I forgot to take a screenshot. 
I ran a poll, and you guys voted to... I forgot what the game is called. Let me find it. I can find it. Twitter. I don't want to open Twitter on stream, because, like, sometimes my feed is sus. Oh, I have to log... It's so dumb. You can't, like, use Twitter if you're not logged in. It's so annoyed. It's so annoying. Anyway. We're starting a new story game tomorrow. And if you want to know what the game is, it's on my Twitter. The In Night and Stars, something like that. It looks like a Mori, and I'm really excited because I like the Mori. Twitter is blocked in my country. In good riddance, Twitter sucks. I mean, X sucks. You know, I'll say it, all social media sucks. Okay. Now, now it's time for the video. I've stalled for long enough. I haven't seen you guys for four days. I'm done yapping. The plan today is simple. We're taking the human benchmark test and then also maybe some games after. And by games, I mean super auto pets. Because I'm addicted. Yesterday, I posted on my Twitter. I literally got four wins in a row. It was crazy. Like, I was sitting there. I think it's because I know the meta. I know the meta for most every single sap, like, arena mode now. So, like, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Okay, so after this, we might play, like, a little bit of sap. A little bit of sap. I played for, like, 20 minutes earlier. I did not get a win, and I was very upset. Because I definitely want to try and integrate, like, a daily game into stream. Only for, like, shorter streams. We'll do, like, a quick daily game. Like, maybe one or two games of sap. Maybe chess. We'll see what happens. Okay. Now I'm doing the intro. <laughs> I've stalled long enough. <laughs> Okay, you guys know the drill. Say hi, YouTube. This will be an edit, so you guys better behave. <clears throat> okay. How am I gonna do the intro? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the, the bit is, like, obviously my disability makes my brain bigger. But, like, I don't want to, like, trauma dump in the intro. Okay. <clears throat> You guys ready to say hi youtube as some of you guys know i have a disability that makes my brain bigger i know it's weird it doesn't necessarily make me smarter and it does actually affect my cognitive ability but you know what it's okay so today i'm gonna be testing my full smartness and cognitive ability by taking the human benchmark test online <laughs> okay that was fine that was fine Okay, where are- you guys are not in my basement. I don't even have a basement. We don't even have an attic anymore. Oh my god, yesterday? I wish I took a picture. Yesterday, I was about to go to sleep, and then my sister texts me. She's like, there's- she's like, peacing? There's a giant spider downstairs. And I'm like, fine. I, I got out of bed, I walked downstairs, and there's a spider. No joke this big. It had like a three-inch leg span. It was on the wall because we, we had just rearranged our snack shelf. So, you know, probably bugs came out of it, whatever. A three-inch spider on the wall. And it was at like 10 p.m. It was dark. It cast a huge shadow. Thankfully, it wasn't moving. So, when vegans close your ears, I squished it with the broom. Because the strategy used the broom. Because we didn't know what the spider was. I got close to it. I looked at it. It kind of looked like a, like a brown recluse, but it was black and gray so it was not a brown recluse we looked it up later it's called a hobo spider i'm not calling you that that's the actual name of the spider so like the hobo spider isn't too dangerous if it bites you it feels like a, a bee sting but anyway i smushed it with the broom and it was fine but it was crazy it was like this big like as big as like my my one glasses lens i had to what'd you say Okay, you can't say gardening tools in my chat room, you know that. Yeah, so there was a giant spider. Okay, anyway, I'm getting so sidetracked. Uh, editor, cut that out, please. Okay, so I did my intro. Human benchmark. Sorry. <laughs> okay, what was I saying? Okay, oh yeah, explain what the human benchmark test is. Okay, I got it. <clears throat> okay, I got it. The human benchmark is a series of tests you can do on your computer. It has typing, memory, and word recognition to see how well your cognitive ability is. You know, I'll say it. They should have had Biden take one of these tests on a live stream. I think it would have been so funny. 
But you know what? I'm gonna do it today live. If you don't watch me do this, wait, fuck. <laughs> but you know what? I might as well try it live. So, okay, I I hate this. I need to like Ungod actually priorities script. typing games every day. Ain't no way. Thank you, Vic, for the tier two at 14 months. Guys, there's a simp in the chat. Thank you, Vic. Can we get some Wicantons in chat? Thank you for the 14 months. Thank you. Okay. I'll do the Biden bit again. I'll do it again. Damn, tier two. I love taking your money. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. You know what they should have had Biden take one of these cognitive tests on stream? I think it would have been hilarious. So if you want to watch me do this live, you can follow my Twitch, twitch.tv slash peace and underscore 17 to watch me play games and do fun little activities like this on stream. You can interact in chat, ain't it wild? So let's go ahead and get started. I had to go home sick from work today. Oh, I'm sorry. Get some rest. Have some tea and soup. And by tea, I mean drama. But don't overwork yourself too much, Vic. I'm glad you went home. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready to do some gaming? Okay, I think I did this right. W. Okay, I gotta go this way. Okay, so this is from human... <laughs> so this is the humanbenchmark.com website. Human benchmark. Measure your abilities with brain games and cognitive tests. Okay. I'm scared. So there are eight different tests. Reaction time, sequence memory, aim trainer, number memory, verbal memory, chimp test, visual memory, and typing. Now, something that I've always struggled with is memory. I've always struggled my whole life. We don't know if that's anxiety or like because of my big brain. So to explain my condition a little bit more, I have a Chiari 1 malformation. So like my brain stem sticks out of my skull because my brain is too big. I had it from birth, allegedly, and it also can be from traumatic brain trauma. So, like, if you get into an accident or from a sports injury, it can occur. So, it does affect my cognitive ability. Like, there are some times where I do stutter or mess up my words on stream. Obviously, if you're watching an edit, I try to cut it out. But, so, yeah. <laughs> um, it's really weird to see how my cognitive ability has decreased over the past few years. But, you know, it's okay. I'm still able to function. I'm still able to talk for the most part. So I think this would be really interesting to try this like every year or something, you know, like taking an actual cognitive test. I haven't taken any with my neurologist. The most they've done is just test my like physical sensations, not necessarily my ability to communicate. So you know what? Maybe we'll try this every year and see how it goes. So let's try these and see how they go. <laughs> Reaction time. Reaction time test. When the red box turns green, click as quickly as you can. Okay. Flash warning, I'm locking in. No, that's so bad! 270? <laughs> Wait, 229, that's a little bit better. Two forty two. Oh, this is so bad. I've seen people get like a hundred. Two eighty nine. Oh my god, this is why I can't play Valorant. Two forty nine. Oh, okay, I think my best was like two forty something. Right? Let's see the averages. Let's see. Two forty nine. I'm average. I'm average. This is a simple tool to measure your reaction time. The average reaction time is two seventy three milliseconds, according to the delay data collected so far. In addition to measuring your reaction time, this test is affected by the latency of your computer and monitor. Using a fast computer and low latency, high frame rate monitor will improve your score. Well, I'm on stream and I'm using a Bluetooth my I'm using a Bluetooth mouse, so I'm blaming that. <clears throat> Scores in this test are faster than the aim trainer test because you can react instantly without moving the cursor. While the average human reaction time may fall between 200 and 250 milliseconds, your computer could be adding 10 to 50 milliseconds on top. So modern TVs add as much as 150 milliseconds. Okay. So I think my lowest was 240. 
Okay, ain't nobody getting zero. That... <laughs> Nobody's getting zero. So I guess 240 is like right on the cusp of average. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Next up, sequence memory. I know I'm not going to do good on this one. Memorize the pattern. Okay, the way that I memorize patterns like this, I remember location. And I was also really bad at the little Simon Says little handheld game that my neighbor had. And you know what? I do want to have more followers because, guys, we are 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to type of chat. Isn't that pretty cool? So, guys, follow right now. And I'll say thank you. Okay. I'm locked in. Level one. Easy. Oh, what? Okay, I clicked before the pattern was over. That's dumb. That's D-U-M. Okay, I'll try again. Level four. That one does not count. I didn't understand the rules. Don't peace I two L. <laughs> okay, try number two. This is gonna be annoying. I don't like when they repeat locations. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm doing good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, I don't remember if it was the center or bottom contour. I think it was the bottom. Yes. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. I'm so good at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What's the last one? It was, I think it was top left corner. I'll take a level 12. Did you beat me? Type in the comments below. That ain't too bad. I'll take it. I don't want to do that again. <laughs> I'll be honest. That one was hard. The way that I memorize locations is, this is not good to do. I will kind of unfocus my eyes. And with this test, they flash, right? So it's a little bit of motion. So like, I will unfocus my eyes and focus on my peripheral to see which square like changed color with motion. Level 12, new PB. About this test. Memorize the sequence of buttons that light up, then press an order. Every time you finish the pattern, it gets longer. Make a mistake and the test is over. So 12, right here, right in the middle. So you could say that I'm a little higher than average. A little higher than average. Somebody got 29? You know, I wish I was one of those people who had photographic memory. Allegedly, my dad has it, but he only gave me the bad genes in the family. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Aim trainer, how quickly can you hit all the targets? Okay, this is... I know this is not going to be good. I don't play Valorant. I refuse to play any shooter games because I don't like boy games. A quick memory test. It's like a Google PI calculator test. <laughs> you know, I wanted to take... Um, what you call it? An IQ test. But all of the IQ I tests they have online aren't real. It's because the actual official IQ test that, like, official entities use is secret. That way people can't study it. I didn't know this for the longest time. So all the IQ tests you see online are knockoffs. They're not real. Is Plant vs. Zombies Garden Warfare a boy game? Yeah. Obviously. Okay, why is there... It's off screen because I cropped my window, but literally the ad below this test is a ASD test. <laughs> a 
Okay, aim trainer. Hit 30 targets as quickly as you can. Something that I learned from Pokemon is to keep your cursor in the center. Man, look at all these... Okay, oh no. Look at all these heads I'm tapping. If you move your cursor back to the center, it's easier, like, if you have your cursor here to the bottom right, and then you have to aim up here, it's easier if you go from the center. I don't know. What's your DPI? I don't even know what that is. 591. Aim trainer, click the targets as quickly and accurately as you can. This tests reflexes and hand-eye coordination, which I do struggle with. Once you click 30 targets, your score and average time per target will be displayed. This test is best taken with a mouse or tablet screen. Trackpads are difficult to score. Oh, dude, imagine doing this on your iPad trackpad. <laughs> okay, let's see. So average is 400 milliseconds. And I scored, what was it, 591? 591. So right here on the cusp. Wait, that's slower. No, that means I'm slow. I'm doing it again. I'm also going for accuracy because, you know, I want to tap heads. Oh, no, I missed one. Five fifty one. Okay, that was a little bit better. What I'm doing for this one is I'm focusing my similar to the memory one, focusing on the center and then looking for things that move in my peripheral. One more time. I want to go for four fifty. No, ain't no way. I'll just go for a straight five hundred. Nope. 486? Okay, what is that? 486? Okay, that's still kind of slow, but in the average. I'll try one more time. Oh, I got lucky three in a row. I think I missed two targets this attempt. 478? One more time. I want to get 450. Okay, I'm misclicking a lot. You know what? I'm blaming my mouse. I actually have one of those gaming mice now that light up with the RGB lights. I think it makes me a bit more legit. Okay, I know this one was really slow. <laughs> okay, my peak was like 476. You know what? I'll take it. I'm not a gamer. I don't play Valorant or CSGO. I'm a cozy streamer, allegedly. You know what? I'm gonna stir up some drama. Cutie said that I'm a second monitor streamer. She said I was boring. Guys, should we cancel her? Next up, number memory. Remember the longest number you can. Oh, no. You know, I think the largest number I've ever seen was 23,000, and that was in my bank account. Back when I was working $80 a week. I don't think I can remember a, a number bigger than that. The average person can remember seven numbers at once. Oh, I also know my bank account number by heart. And that's, I think, ten digits or something. Don't ask me what it is. Oh, wait. I wasn't paying attention. I think it was ten. <laughs> looking at my screen i was looking at chat <laughs> didn't she bail on super meat boy i missed that stream <laughs> i swear i saw a 10 on the screen okay i'm going again oh okay i get it now four 94 also, if it gets annoying that I'm saying the number out loud, deal with it. 452. It's random numbers? 452. 9843. A good way to memorize numbers is to memorize them in pairs or groups of three. 65805. 65805. Easy. I just gotta get seven. 912 985. 
3307-306-3306-3306-33. Oh no, I lost it. 3307-306. Yes! Easy. Okay, so now I'm at average. Average was 7. 695-41756. 695-41756. Four one seven five six. <gasps> Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I thought I would lose it. Seven seven six seven three three one four nine. Seven seven six seven three three one four nine. Seven seven six. One four three seven seven nine. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay i was totally off it makes sense that i remember the first three characters because i said it the most i think i repeated it twice and then only repeated the three characters on the last third try man level nine level nine okay right at average right at peak the average person can remember the average person can only remember seven digit numbers reliably but it's possible to do much better using Monomic techniques. Some helpful links are provided below. Okay, what is the monomic? I'm gonna go full cam. I don't know if it's a scam link. Okay, the major. It opened a Wikipedia page. What? Okay, so the monomic major system, editor put a screenshot here of the article. It's basically, instead of remembering numbers as number characters, you're remembering it as phonetic characters. So the main system is zero is S, one is T or D, two is N, etc. That's crazy. It's comparing it to remembering numbers as pictures, but instead of pictures, you're remembering sounds. That's kind of wild. Yeah, Wikipedia is a reliable source. Every time I go to it, they try to show donations, so I just assume they're legit. Are there ID numbers in the state? Um, yeah. I Yeah, because people can have a... Because we have a national ID system, and then we also have a state ID system. It's cool because you can use either. And then you have a driver's license in your state as well. I think it's wild how some countries have, like, digital ID. I think Australia, they only have digital ID systems. I don't think we could ever do that in the States. But I do think they would because having digital ID just further ostracizes, like, the poor people. <laughs> do you have to memorize a number? No, you just show your ID. You just show your ID. You know, ultimately, we're all just a number. Anyway, next quiz. I want you guys to try this at home. See if you're smarter than me. Verbal memory. Keep as many words in short-term memory as possible. Verbal memory test. You'll be shown words one at a time. If you've seen a word during the test, click seen. If it's a new word, click new. Okay. I might verbally say the words, because that's how I remember things better. Phillies. That's new. Odorant. Twittery? Twittery? You mean X? The everything platform? Petrifying. Compartment. Pitiers. Pox. Deletions. Weltings. Substantiations? Why are there so many OCK words? I'm not saying the actual word. Pox. The spectacle These are so many words I've never seen. Forenoon? Wait, how do I have two lives? Pit tears, I've seen that. Concubine, is that a bad word? Fiddle, that's new. Meltings, I've seen. Travesty, new. Tutory, seen. Regurgitations, new. Forehanded, new. Capacitances, what is that? Oh, okay. Galologist, I have no clue. I've seen despectically. 
Compliments new. I've seen that one. Allocations, I've seen compliments. Seen. What? They're screwing me over with the ologists. Conduits. New. Admirable new. Compartment seen. Odorant seen. Offstage new. Kasasaba. <laughs> new. Oh, itty. Iodizer new. Spondy new. Liquify new. Odorant. I've seen that three times now. Kasaba seen. Wantonness. New. Oligarchial new. Liquify seen. Pit pittance. No! I think it was pittance or pitify. I saw before. 40 words. Okay, let's see what the average is. 40? I'm at average. I'm at average. I'll take it. This test measures how many words you can keep in short term memory at once. The number of words you need to remember grows continually until you can't keep them in your head anymore. Go as long as you can. Your score is how many turns you lasted. Somebody got 190? I'm going again. I want to get 50. Whistle, new. I'm not saying that. <laughs> Overdecorated, conception, degassed. Theater goers, how is that a word? Overdecorated, I've seen. I'm not saying that, I've seen it. Overdecorated, we literally just saw it. Incorruptibilities. I've seen that. Whistle, I saw that in the previous one, but that's new. What? I think whistle was the first word. Theater goers, I've seen. Incorruptibility, seen. I know Sittles, new. Whistle, seen. Eighth, cheaper. I've seen this word three times. And I don't want to see this one on screen. Theater goers, seen. Petioles, new. Galatees. Okay, I've seen words that I've seen in my previous attempt, and it's kind of cooking me. Unremembered! Amiably. That means kind. I've seen petioles, overdecorated, seen, degassed, uh, in the previous test. Okay, I'm getting tripped up because I'm seeing words that I saw in my previous attempt. So I think I just have to go with my first one, 40, which is average. Or no, it's slightly, like, past average, because average peak is 30. I think that's good. I tried to rewind this like it was a YouTube video, because I couldn't remember how this is scoring. <laughs> you know... I think Twitch should be like YouTube streams where you can rewind back in a VOD. I love that a lot. Without having to open like a different video link. Twitch dev, if you're listening, please implement this. I love being able to pause a YouTube stream and then pressing play and it's back where I paused it. Please, please, Twitch staff, do it. Okay, so I got 40. 40 is fine. That's fine. Cockatrice is a mythical creature. I don't want to look it up. I don't trust you. <laughs> okay, chimp test. Are you smarter than a chimpanzee? I hope so. I hope so. Click the squares in order according to their numbers. The test will get progressively harder. So I've seen videos about the specific test of like chimps actually doing this. And it's because they have photographic memory, which I don't have. So how this works is you have to remember the number sequence order, but the moment you click, the numbers disappear. So you have to remember the number and then location. So it's similar to the nine square memory test in the sense of I probably have to zone out, remember things in my peripheral, and then recall the location. Oh, wait. It doesn't disappear? What? That can't be real. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait. It does disappear. <laughs> oh, man. They baited me on the first one. Easy. I'm trying to remember the line in which I have to move my cursor. Oh no. The line this is making is like a crochet project gone wrong. Oh my god. Center quadrant, middle left, center, bottom right, center left. Oh my god. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. No, I misclicked! 
went. Stupid mouse. Guys, I don't think I can do this. Blame it on the miscook? No, legit. It's because this mouse is a boy gaming mouse. So I legitimately have to press so hard for it to register my clicks. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh my god, I can't do this. Big brain, take a picture. You guys would be able to see if I whipped out my phone and took a picture. And I don't want the cheating allegations to be out there rampant. Oh, this is legit so difficult. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm trying. What? That was three! W. See, if I did this without a cursor, like with the actual little digital tablet they use, I would not be able to remember. Because the way I'm trying to do this is remembering the line, kind of like a graph in my head that my cursor takes, not necessarily by location, like a grid. Yes, sir. You know, I'm like locking in. The two is up here behind my face cam, don't worry. I'm locking in now that I only have one life left. It's kind of like every game. The less health I have, the more I want to stay alive and fight. Oh, ain't no way. There is no way. There's too many intersecting lines on this one. Because it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Ooh, six, seven. Where was eight? Where was eight? I think ten was on the left. No! I got ten. I was kind of cooking the... Ten is right at average, right at peak, right here. The chimpanzee test. This test... This is a test of working memory, made famous by a study that found that chimpanzees consistently outperform humans on this task. In a study, the chimpanzee consistently outperformed humans, and some chimps are able to remember nine digits over 90% of the time. Oh, wait, so that means I scored one higher than a chimp. Guys, it's confirmed. I am part of the peak race. No, I don't. Cut that out. That was weird. I was trying to make a joke that, like, humans are smarter than chimps. Cut it out, please. <laughs> Go back to the writer's room. <laughs> okay. Okay, so at least that indicates that I scored better than an average chimp. <laughs> Low bow! <laughs> Guys, don't worry, I'm brown. <laughs> this test is a variant of that concept that gets increasingly difficult every turn, starting at four digits and adding one every turn. If you pass the level, the number increases. If you fail, you get a strike. Oh, wait, there's an actual video. If you want us to watch the video, we can watch it. Editor, cut this out, though. Well, it's 15 seconds. Why is there an ad? Oh, yeah, I'm in incognito mode. <laughs> do, 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 do. Unscoopable ad! Okay, we're gonna copy this to this tab. Okay, VOD watchers, you'll see the video, but no audio, okay? Because I can't unfix it. Oh, what the fuck? Why did everything show up there? Here we go. 
Here we go. He said crossword athlete. Oh, he failed immediately. It kind of sucks hearing the eh after every time you fail. When a human sat the same test, he correctly remembered the numbers almost 90% of the time. Oh, so that means the statistic was in a sequence of 9 to 10 numbers, they got it right 90% of the time. Not that 90% of chimps remembered 9 to 10 numbers. <laughs> Why are we making a, a chess word pro a representative? Snapchat location pings him in a tree. <laughs> I love like old documentaries. Okay, W. Okay. So, yeah. It's because they have photographic memory. I think it was so... I, I was reading a different article that was explaining why they have photographic memory. And it was so they could remember their way back to, like, their nest. Like, like take a memory picture in their mind of the trees and the path they went on. That way they can remember the way home. I think it was. And you know what else? I think it's time for an ad. Because, guys... Sorry, my eye glitched. Oh my god, thank you for the follow. I did not say thank you. Oh my god, thank you. We got it 20 minutes ago. Can we get some yo's? I'm sorry. I have my alerts covered by my windows. Anyway, guys. It's time for me to run an ad. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and get out of free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and subscribe for free. Ain't no way. So guys, subscribe right now. 
and I'll say thank you. Chimpanzees have a better memory than the average Minecraft gamer confirmed. Yeah, because like every Minecrafter, they have to look at the wiki how of how to play. Like, I swear, some of them don't even know how to make a pickaxe by memory. Sorry, something like is in my eye. Okay. Sorry, the music was probably out there. Okay, back to the test. I scored a 10. I'll take it, that's fine. Average. I'm smarter than some chimps. Visual memory. Remember an increasingly large board of squares. <laughs> there are so many memory tests. Like, why does your memory go away first? Oh, something that I read. If you want to avoid getting dementia in your mid to late life, always do crosswords, do brain games, and keep reading. Keep learning. Borrow textbooks from your library. Learn a new craft. Learn a new hobby. Because... The more, like, brain-dead activities you do, like watching YouTube or Tic Tacs, and not, like, actually exercising your brain, literally your brain neurons fry up and die if you don't use them. So you know what? Doing chess every day? W. Memorize the squares. Oh, okay, this is easier. I just have to memorize location. Watching your streams, though? Shut up. I'm, I'm an educational streamer. Oh, no. Okay, don't bother me. I need to lock in. This is a lot easier than the other square memory test. Because I'm kind of remembering, like, Tetris shapes. Oh my god. Yes! Okay. This one is a lot easier because, like, the motion animation flashes at the end a little bit. I was close. There was something in this quadrant. Damn it. Okay. I'm too focusing on reacting, but not focusing in. What? That's fine, last try. I think it was this? No, there was something in- I know there's one more square in the left quadrant. The left side? Damn it. I wish it would show me the actual final result. Level 12! I think I did well. I think I did well. I only started tripping in the final sections, but that's because it showed like a 10 by 10 grid almost. Let's see the average. Ooh! 12? It's a little bit better than average. Average is nine. Yes! About the test. Every level, a number of tiles will flash white. Memorize them and pick them again after the tiles are reset. Levels get progressively more difficult to challenge your skills. If you miss three tiles on a level, you lose one life. You have three lives. Okay, 12 is pretty good. It's right here. A little bit better than average. Okay, I'm happy with that. I don't want to do that again. Similar to the pattern recognition in the first like Simon Says little memory game, I would remember like plots on the grid and then the flashing animation, the motion, would play at the very end. So that was just another reassurance of the memory. I'll take it. Level 12. And the final cognitive test, typing. How many words can you type per minute? 
So I used to do type racer every day back when I was working just to get my words per minute up. I think I peaked at 60 words per minute and that's what I have in my resume. As of recent, I've dropped to like 40, but that's because since my cognitive ability is slightly declining every year, my mobility in my fingers is slightly declining. I also do not have the keyboard memorized. You know, back in the day, they used to have typing classes in school. The most our school had was computer lab, where we learned how to use Photoshop and stuff. But we didn't learn typing. I wish I learned typing. And I'm not using like a USB keyboard. I'm just using the keyboard that's on my Alienware. So the keys are very slightly raised. I cannot use a technical keyboard anymore. With the, with the little tiles that are this tall, I don't like the clacking. I need... You know keyboards that are like a that are like apple keyboards that are very like short that way my fingers don't have to travel like as high so we'll see how we do also let's play a different song okay i'm not gonna memorize the text because i think that's cheating okay i'm locked in my goal is to get 50. No, no, I'm already screwing up. It's not double space, it's single space. Oh my god, dude, this is so hard. This is so hard. Don't look at me, don't look at me. I also don't know how to spell well, so like I have to keep looking at the screen. But I missed the L. Dude. Did I used to be so I clicked out of the tab, I clicked out of the tab. Okay, 40. That's so bad. That's so bad. Dude, I used to peak at 60. I think the average is 35. We'll have to look it up later. Actually, let's look it up now. What's the average? Guys, put your words per minute in chat. Embarrass me. I used to be so good, dude. I hate my disability sometimes. It's really discouraging seeing my... Like, what I can't do as well as I did before. But, you know, I'm still able to do a lot of things. I'm happy for what I'm able to do. Okay, let's see. Average words per minute. <laughs> According to live chat, the average is 38 to 40. Why to increase? No. No, all the Zoomers are typing now. No, I'm average. Okay, let's see. Yeah, average is 40. Dang. I'm trying again. I'm trying again. Screw it. We're also replaying the song. Okay, going again. Oh, this is giraffes? Oh, I missed the 
I'm getting angry. I don't need to be getting upset. I'm doing fine. To duel with... My hands are shaking. I'm so nervous. I don't know why I'm so scared doing this. I'm just embarrassed. Okay, I need to stop talking. Gently rubbing against another male, huh? Huh? Fifty-three. Okay, that's a lot better. I'll take it. Fifty-three. I still got it. I still got it. One more time. One more time. So that took two minutes? Ooh. One more time. Why are there so many texts about animals? Okay. What the? I didn't click it. They get their color from shrimp. That was my first mistake. That's pretty good. No! Forgot the R. Dude, I messed up so bad. Dude, okay, I'm throwing at the end. Fifty-three. Okay, same. I was I was not looking at my words for a minute throughout, but I think I peaked at like sixty. That counts. That counts. I still hit sixty, just not at the end. My accuracy. It's because since I have to look at the keyboard when I type, I don't have all the keys memorized. So like, I can't remember the sentence and then type it out. I have to like glance up every few seconds. And I know there's ways to memorize where the keys are on the keyboard, but I can't. I legit- I can't do it. My brain can't do it. And yes, there's like resting spots for your fingers on certain keys, but no. No. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. Also, guys, I think that was all. Yeah, that was all of them. <laughs> okay. We're done with this. <laughs> I'm no longer typing.
So those were all of the human benchmark tests on the human spec. Damn it. I can't talk. I can't talk. Okay. So those were all the human benchmark tests on the human benchmark website. And all in all, I scored average, if not a little bit more than average on all of them. So you know what that means? I still got it. My big brain does hinder, but may also help in some cases. So there we go. I'm just average, which is how I've been my whole life. It makes sense. So if you enjoyed this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to watch me do this live, follow my Twitch, twitch.tv slash peace and underscore 17. We do fun stuff all the time. But thank you for watching. Rig paint. Dude, I, can I hate my stutter so much. You know the good thing? Good thing none of these tests were speaking. I would have failed legitimately all of them. Big brain is better? Yes, sir. It was really funny. The moment I got my diagnosis for my condition, my sister sent me the the Megamind no bitches meme and said, this you, question <laughs> mark. But yeah, there we go. There we go. Guys, take it for yourselves at home. Tell me how you did. Okay, I'm so... I think the thing I'm most embarrassed about is still the typing. I'm so sad. I used to be so good. I used to get like 60s and 70s. I've gotten reassured. I think it's the only thing that I like lie about on my resume. Everything else is real and true, but the words per minute is from like three years ago. But they don't need to know that. And employers, if you're watching, pretend you didn't hear anything. But there we go. Human benchmark test. What do you guys think? Are you going to try this at home? Type one. Okay. I did say we can do like a little bit, a little crumb of gaming. Should we do sap? I kind of want to play sap. I kind of want to play sap. Uh, just a reminder, guys. Today's stream is presented to you by Peace and Out My Shop about a comment. Ain't no way. Guys, new lino prints are available. Click the link. Go bookmark my website. New artwork coming out. Uh, maybe September. I gotta get money to buy supplies. So maybe September. And something very special coming in October. And I'm not gonna leak again. Okay, I'm ready for sap. I wanna play some sap. We'll do sap for like 30 minutes. Because today, uh, I wanna get some edits done. And then... Because, dude, my sleep schedule is going to be so messed up because I, I got to take my sister to work today. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be like two hours to get to and from. Sap until you win. Bet. Bet. Okay, let's hope this doesn't crash my computer. I love sap. It's loading. It should not. Oh, it's up. First try, imagine. Yesterday, I literally got four wins in a row. I literally got four wins in a row. Mods change the category. We're gaming now. Super auto pets. How does it have 40 viewers? Okay. I am now a sap streamer. Stream ends when I get a win. I'm not even kidding. Change my border colors. I like when my goals like match the look of the game. Let's do blue borders today.
Okay, I'm in. Now, just to show you how well I did yesterday, if you go to my replays... Where is it? Look at this! Cute- Okay, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I did not think I was gonna win this attempt, that's why I named it this. But look, 10 trophies in the... This is the weekly pack? Or the wacky pack? Wacky pack win? Weekly pack from yesterday? And then normal game mode. I got four wins in a row. It was insane. I was cooking. I think it's because I figured out the best pets. And then this morning, lost, lost, lost. I won. Oh, wait, this is last night still. I won again. And then I did two games this morning and I lost. This, These are from the weekly pack. Because they reset every Monday, I believe. I don't know. I just started playing two weeks ago. Guys, I'm only playing sap from now on. Also, we are 30 minutes in the stream, so if anywhere, click that follow button. We've already gotten two followers today. Can we get three more to hit our daily goal? Ain't no way. Okay, should we do... I don't like doing verses, because the thing with verses is because you're in a... You're in a... You're in a closed lobby, so people know what pets you're building. And it's so much harder. I've been getting reels of a guy that gets his colors from the Pantone codes. Oh, that's- I love those videos. I want to do one of those, but I would feel bad if I failed, you know what I mean? This in my art degree would mean nothing. It would have been pointless. You know what's great? Since I'm disabled, my student loans got wiped. I love socialism. Anyway, arena mode. Let's try the weekly pack. I've already done a one with the turtle pack on stream. You know what? I really want to buy the packs. I want to buy these so bad. I did say I was not going to buy the upgrades, but I kind of want it. I kind of want different game modes. Should I? I obviously can't buy it right now. Guys, if I get a million subs right now, I'll buy all three of these packs. I'll do it! Okay, let's try the new weekly pack. I've only done two games with this pack this morning, so, like, I don't know all the pets in it. Pheasant? Bah. I don't like any of these. I find it better in the start to prioritize pets that have higher health or more offensive perks. Ooh, the gibbon is also really good. I've been liking the gibbon. Because the Gibbon, whenever the shop tier is upgraded, give the two nearest pets behind plus one health. This is very good in the build to get in the beginning to give your pets like additional health in the beginning. You can use the president, parentheses bush. That's actually a good joke. We should put you in the writer's room. What's a pillock? <laughs> Plump packages. <laughs> These are all so bad gushing legends. Just how, like, everybody's gushing over the Olympics right now. Got him. I'll take a draw. As long as I don't lose in the beginning, it's fine. Ant is also good. Ooh, give the nearest friend hand mana. I literally just figured out what mana is. So mana is when... You, it gives the pet... Like, extra plus one random attack. It The mana is essentially a rock damage whenever they die. So it's fine. Mana's fine. Yeah. Swapping these around. So my lineup in the beginning now, if it's a gibbon, if it's a pack that has gibbons, you do gibbon, random pet gibbon. That way, whenever it levels up, the first gibbon will give these two plus one. And then the second given will give the ones behind plus one. I'm a given build now. Oh wait, I should have frozen that given. Oopsie. The yak is kind of crazy. Take one damage and gain plus two attack. It's really advantageous if you get the yak early on. That way by like turn 10, it'll have like 30 attack. L, 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 L. Got 
Guys, stream ends when I get a win. See, look, the Gibbons gave basically everyone plus one. I want to use the apple now just so I have another apple slot open. Love the vibes. Thank you, Kim. Another apple? I don't want another apple, though. I know most of the perks for the pets in this pack already, so, like, that's why I'm not explaining them all. Guys, stream ends when I get a win. Mods change the title. <laughs> Faint, remove five health from the first enemy. That's probably better in, like, late game. I don't know. I don't want to- I don't want the urchin. Keeping the mosquito and turn. I missed the wacky pack. The wacky pack was so fun. Wait, this guy's build is kind of similar to mine. They're copying me. It's Jover. There was one run I had this morning where I got five trophies without a single loss. It was insane. Reroll. Dumbo Octopus. Are you allowed to call people Dumbo? Wait, was there a live action Dumbo? Let me look it up. I feel like there was. I kind of love and hate how there's live action versions of everything now. I feel like they're only doing it to show off the VFX team. Live action Dumbo. I feel like there was. Oh my god, it came out in 2019. There was. Oh my god. I didn't see it. It looks... Like, the issue with um, hyper-realistic renderings is that you lose the charm and character that you see in 2D. Because 2D is not supposed to be realistic, so you can kind of bend the rules of realism a little bit. Also, I watched the new Spongebob movie. I only saw half of it because I fell asleep watching it last night. <laughs> so no spoilers. But... Dead ass, the first, like, 15-minute sequence in the new Spongebob movie felt like a Spongebob episode. It didn't feel like a movie. And once they introduced, like, the plot for the new Sandy Cheek Spongebob movie, then it felt like a movie. You know, like, just, just a weird premise. But I really liked the visuals and how, for that first 15-minute sequence, they broke a lot of rules that you would have in, like, 3D animation. A lot of foreshortening shots, a lot of weird anatomy. It was really interesting, but I haven't seen the whole movie, so that's my partial review. Let's see, three coins left. Uh, let's do the apple. I want to get a different item next turn. The fallen bosses, huh? Chat, I want you to be honest. If I made Peace and Art a publicly traded company, would you guys buy stock? Okay, there's no like good pets right now. It's oh shit. Empty friend space. Jump to the front and deal three damage to the two first enemies. Ooh, the tiger bug is kind of crazy. I saw it in another build and it was wild. Start a battle. Remove two health from the first enemy for each roll. Uh, that's dumb. End turn. Give adjacent friends plus one health. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'll get rid of the ant. I'll get the bug. Stocks are fake. That's what I'm saying. I don't ever want to have, like, a publicly owned company. Because then you become... Like, you work for the investors. Like, you're working to make profit, not, like, good product. I would... Uh, I don't know. Because I was looking up what it takes to make, like, an actual business account. And let me just say, it does not take a lot. <laughs> Like, I was looking at, like, local credit unions and, like, national credit unions to... Because if I am potentially going to be doing a collab line of artwork, then I would need to pay them out. And it, at, at that point, it would make sense to have, like, a separate account. That way it's just easier for bookkeeping. So I was looking at, like, different banks and stuff yesterday. I'm obviously not going to say what I'm considering. But let me just say, <laughs> it's very easy to get a business account. 
And it's nice because a lot of business accounts have better perks than personal checking or credit lines. So, I didn't realize they were, like, that good. And it's also very easy to get a business loan. So, you know what? If I really wanted to... I'm gonna freeze the garlic, because I want that later. Okay, none of these are good! Ooh, giraffe! I want that. Hmm, who do I want to get rid of? I'll get rid of a gibbon, bring him to the front. And giraffe in front of the tiger bug. None, none of these pets, like, have good trumpet perks. I don't want the cherry. Okay, they really want me to keep upgrading this little bulbous thing. In turn. What was I saying? Oh yeah, business accounts. Like, it'll be a lot easier for bookkeeping. Because also what I learned, when you transfer, like, personal funds into a business account, it doesn't count as income for the business. It counts as, like, equity. Which, when you're investing your personal funds into a business. So, like, you would count it as equity until you have, like, actual income from the business and product or service you sell to fund the business. So I was like, huh. I'm learning so much. Ooh, orangutan is huge! Okay, obviously getting the giraffe. So the orangutan, end turn. Give lowest health pet plus three health. It is very good to get the orangutan early on. Who am I getting rid of? Since we're on turn six, I'll get rid of the mosquito. Orangutan. Reroll. Ooh, another orangutan. Ooh, camel's also really good. There's so many good pets. Hmm. The tiger bug is good because... It doesn't necessarily have to be in the front. It just can't be in the frontmost spot because it jumps ahead. So anytime a friend dies, it'll jump to the front. Hmm. I'll get rid of the orangutan. I don't need that. Or no, sorry. The, the, the... Gibbon. And then we'll bring in the camel. Whenever the camel's hurt, give the nearest friend behind plus one attack and plus two health. So the strat with the camel is to make it a tank. Reroll. I want to keep these items for the next turn and give them both to the camel. Okay, W run. Anyway, because basically all the money that is used to pay for peace and art expenses, like the website fees, the phone service, agile services, it all comes from my personal money. Wait, I might win. Don't make so, like, if I had, like, a separate business account, it would make things a lot easier. when I Because I have to file my taxes every quarter. Which is annoying, but it kind of makes it easier. Because when you do file your end-of-year expenses, it's all... You did it every month anyway. So it's a lot easier to, like, go back and file. But, yeah. I, I just can't wait till I get to a point where... I have enough income, whether it be from stream or art, to where, like, I can bring more people in. Because, obviously, you can't do everything by yourself. Because if you do everything by yourself, everything is going to be lackluster in some way. But, yeah. I, it's funny, because, like, I'll talk to my friends or my family or my sister about it. And, like, I'm kind of delusional. I'm like, oh, yeah, one day. But you can't go into things, like, not believing in yourself at all, you know? Like, you have to believe that you'll do well. Blowfish is also good. Let's see. Blowfish deal 3 damage to one enemy every time it's hurt versus Alchemides. Only doing plus 2 mana, so plus 2 damage. I'll get rid of this and change it off for the Blowfish. Putting the Blowfish in front of the Giraffe. Oops. Yeah, because I want to give the blowfish as much health as I can that way it tanks. So similar strat to that we did during the actual sap stream. 
The more health the blowfish has, the more tanks it can hit, and then the more additional damage it can do. Reroll! Freezing the garlic for next turn. Cheese, attack with double damage once. That's pretty good, but I'll save that for late game. End turn. Maybe I should not become a sap streamer. <laughs> okay, let's see. Garlic perked the blowfish. Roll one more time in hopes of getting a heal item. I did not get a heal. Or heart increase item. So, let's see. Oh, why did I freeze the alchemy still? It's so dumb. Orangutan and then tiger bug. Enter. When you level up the orangutan, once it gets to level 2, it gives your the lowest health friend plus 6. It goes from plus 3 to plus 6. So leveling up your orangutan is very important early on. Man, I'm so good at this game. Turn 9. I'm doing pretty good. Three hearts left to turn 9. I don't like any of these pet perks. Taco, give three random pets plus two. That's good. Giraffe, freeze. Ooh, parrot? Ooh. Because the parrot copies the ability of the pet in front of it. Hmm. Tiger bug, jump to the front and deal three damage to the two frontmost enemies. If I swap out the tiger bug for the parrot and put the parrot behind the blowfish, then that's just additional plus three attacks. And it'll probably end up being more than two. So I'm going to get rid of the tiger bug and swap for the parrot. Oh wait, the parrot has to be next to the blowfish. Yeah, start a turn, give the nearest pet one attack and one health. Yeah, the giraffe has to be. It can't be in front of the parrot. Yeah, it has to be like that. That's the best formation. Reroll! Ooh, another orangutan! Freeze both tacos, level up the orangutan, watch this. Now, it'll give the lowest health pet plus six. Insane. So that means on this turn, when I click enter, it's going to give the parrot plus six, and then it'll make it a four, eight parrot. Huge! I got... S oh, and then I can also level up the giraffe? Huge! Give the nearest two pets ahead. Okay, yeah. So yeah. So now it doesn't matter if the giraffe is behind or behind the parrot or the blowfish. This run is good. The sorrow pot is... Good, but I've never tried it in a run. Gain plus one gold for every time a food is bought, so that means basically items cost two coins. But I I like the pets I have in this current lineup. The only other pet that I kind of want for this team would be a deer, because I like the chili bus. A snake could also be good, because it acts very similar to the blowfish. And turn. <laughs> yeah, putting the parrot behind the blowfish is good. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Reroll.
Yeah, nothing good. I'll use the apple. Let's see. I'll give the apple to the camel because I want the camel to be my biggest tank pet right now. Man, if I went on my first game, imagine. No, I'm going to lose this game by saying that. Oh, the bear is dead? That's huge. This is looking good. <gasps> the mushroom perk? I'm debating on if I want to give the mushroom to my blowfish or the camel. Because it's kind of good to give to the camel because when it dies, it'll respawn and then automatically give a guaranteed plus two heart and then plus one attack to the pet behind it. But then also giving the mushroom to the blowfish is good because then it's a guaranteed an additional three damage to the opponent. I want to give it to the blowfish because blowfish has higher health anyway. Ooh, apple and taco? The hamster is also good in the beginning because whenever you re-roll, you gain one gold back. So that means a re-roll is free for two rolls. But I don't want to swap anybody out on my team right now because everybody's purpose is set. Camel and blowfish for full offensive. Parrot copies blowfish, so another offensive pet. And then giraffe and orangutan are just to help give my team more health. Taco plus two attack to randoms. And then still making the camel my tank. There we go, enter. The orangutan giving plus six is crazy! How do they have a 25 health termite? Oh yeah, the pair copied the deer there. Uh oh. That termite's gonna take my team out. That's fine. That's okay. Ooh, a deer. I will only swap out the deer whenever I want to get rid of the giraffe. So we'll keep the deer frozen for now. Chocolate. Nobody's close to leveling up. But I'll give garlic perk to my parrot for now. Reroll. Taco. Okay. Taco, random attack. Hmm. I think out of all my pets, I want to level up. My blowfish next. Because then if it's hurt, I think it deals six rock damage. So chocolate to my blowfish. Enter. I feel good with this build. Even though I only have two hearts left, this is totally doable. Why they put the bear in the second last queue? Oh, the bear is a mushroom. Uh-oh. This is winnable. Yeah, it's a 1-1 one, one bear. Giving the mushroom to the bear is not good because the mushroom the mushroom perk is good for pets that have abilities that are active in battle. And since the bear perk is you get an additional rock damage whenever there's five attacks from pets in front of the bear, giving the mushroom to the bear will not work because the bear will not live five turns after it respawns with the mushroom. Three attempts left. Can you give code to the bear? No. 
I would never give drugs away. <gasps> Leveling up the blowfish! Yes, sir! Now it deals six rock damage. Hell yeah. Freezing the garlic because I might want to use the next turn. Reroll. Ooh, pizza! I love the pizza. Okay, I'm going to give the garlic perk to... Uh, let's give it to the draft so it lives because it has the least amount of health. End turn. Three trophies away. Stream ends when I get a win. Stream ends when I get a win. I also tried the hard mode in arena mode. It is impossible. Oh, every single pet has a stupid mushroom. I, I don't think I'm living. They have a lot of health. And this is a summon build. Oh my god. Oh my god, so lucky, so lucky! 8 out of 10. I can do this. Two hearts left, two trophies left. This is totally doable. Freezing the camel. Redeeming the taco, freezing the garlic. Reroll. Mm. I only got six coins left. Oh. Give the garlic to the orangutan. Purchase the camel. Enter. Yeah, I got so lucky that I got the orangutan fairly early on. I got very lucky. Oh, they got the yak. It's a maxed out yak, too. 40 health? Bro. <gasps> so lucky, a draw. So lucky. Now I get the bear. Only two trophies away, two hearts away. It's too late to get the bear. It's not worth it. I would swap out the deer for the giraffe. But my deer has 19 health, so it's kind of a tank already. Freeze in the cookie. Because it gives temporary plus two. Ooh, pizza! Mm. Let's do the pizza first, see what it heals. Let's see, because the orangutan is going to give itself plus six because it has 15, which is the lowest heart health. I'm going to keep the cookie frozen and redeem the pear just to give it another plus one. Because if I win this, then we'll only have one turn left, basically. Of course, now I get a yak. It makes me so mad, I'm going to yak. They got two bears? Uh-oh. Oh, this guy stole my food item, the super raccoon. Okay, I love the double bear attack. 18 health bear. <gasps> yes! Turn 16, 9 out of 10 trophies, two hearts left. Ain't no way I win in my first game. Ain't no way. Mm, no good food. I think definitely giving everybody garlics helped a lot. Because it basically gives them... Because the garlic, how it works, is they take two less damage every single hit. It's not just two less damage once, it's every single attack. So that means if it gets hit three times, it takes six less damage. I'll keep that cookie frozen. Leveling up the parrot is really good. One more reroll. Okay, buying the parrot. So now the parrot copies the ability of the nearest pet ahead as a level two. So that means 
instead of doing three rock damage, it'll now do six rock damage, just like the blowfish in front of it. Now, the only other good item I have now is the cookie. Give a temporary plus two attack, plus two health. Let's see. Right now, the orangutan is going to give the health to the camel. I'll give it to the camel, since it's in the front. Because there's no peanut scorpions in this pack, so you don't have to worry about losing your first friend. Or your first pet. Yeah, the orangutan gave it to the camel. Okay, good. If I win... This one could be hard because it's a summon build. They have a slug and a slime. <gasps> I'm gonna win. Ten trophies, arena mode, normal, for the weekly pack, starting the week of August 12th. Look at that. Orangutan, giraffe, parrot, blowfish, and camel. Definitely getting the orangutan early on was helpful because it gave everybody ample health throughout. And the mushroom with the blowfish, I think, was the best decision because I did a guaranteed additional three or six rock damage in mid to late game. And the parrot... Dude, offensive builds are so fun. They're so much better than summons. Because you can... What I've realized, with summon builds, you only have, like, a few selected pets that you can use. You can't make them too versatile. But with offensive builds, you can do, like, any pet and you can make it work. Damn, look at that shit! First daily win! Yes, sir! I feel so good right now. I feel great. You guys want to see what? We'll do like one more game. Even though I won. I forgot to do a prediction. Shoot. Believers would have eaten good. Okay, let's do one hard mode. So hard mode is pick a new bad toy after every other turn. Hard mode is actually insufferable. Because when you play hard mode, it doesn't pair you up with people who are also doing hard mode. Let's do the normal turtle pack. The same pack. Sorry. Hard mode is insufferable. Freeze the apple, because I will need that. Mm, I need to make sure my pets live. I'll give the heart to the mosquito. That way when the ant dies, it'll give it another plus one. End turn. Smooth. Or moody mouths. The rich rascals. <laughs> they sound like some woke leftists. Dang, I lost. I left and you totally won? Yeah, watch the VOD. It's W's only. Dude, imagine. If I would have only, like, learned a bit more before that stupid five-hour stream, it would have been literally a an hour stream. I know how to play now. I know the metas. <sighs> okay. With hard mode, you have to be very sparing with your money. Because that was turn two. So from this point on, every odd turn, you get a bad toy. I personally don't like toy builds because it's only temporary perks. I'll take a draw. Okay. Now, there's usually good toys, but when you do hard mode, you get bad toys. Dice Cup. Start a battle, shuffle the position of all friends, or multiply attack and health of the lowest health enemy by four. So that means... The pogo stick essentially buffs up your opponent's lowest health enemy versus die cup, which shuffles the position of all friends. At this point in the game, it's early game, so it's not like I have my ideal pets yet. For me, it's smarter to do the dice cup 
because none of my pets affect the other pets. So order doesn't really matter. Ooh, these are all really good pets to get right now. Because a lot of the bad toys will affect your purchasing ability. Like either take away coins or charge more when you buy items. So getting a worm and swan early on to get more coins and better items early on is game changing. So I'm going to sell the duck. That way these three all get better health. I got really lucky that I got my three favorite pets turn three. I genuinely did. And then getting rid of the pig so I have extra money to buy things. So the order gets shuffled, so it doesn't really matter. Apple to the peacock. Reroll. No good items. Yeah, order doesn't matter. They all get shuffled, so... No importa. The dice roll item only really, like, cooks you if you have... Like, the kangaroo, or the gamble. See, look, my opponent does not have bad items. I'm literally being put against normal mode players right now. It's gonna be a draw. That's fine. If the peacock would have been in front, I would have won, but it's okay. I still, I still lived. Hmm. It could be kind of good to get rid of the ant and just get another peacock. Because it has five base health. Reroll. Another swan. I need money. In game and in real life. <laughs> so. It's more advantageous to get rid of the mosquito and just get another swan. That way I get two guaranteed coins every turn. Okay, this is good. Order doesn't matter because I still have the dice cup. You know what else is good? Watching ads. Because, guys, we are two hours in the stream. So it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and subscribe for free. Ain't no way. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. Also, I missed a love and a love and make a late wish, everybody. And if you're new here, click follow. I'll say thank you. And turn. Oh, it actually didn't move the peacock that I had in the front. Weird. W! Now watch this. Turn five. That toy disappears, and you get another bad toy. So every single turn, you get a debuff. Ain't no way! Thank you for the follow! Guys, imagine a follow call out working. Thank you! Can we get some yo's? I appreciate that. Thank you. These are both really bad. Rock bag. Start of battle. Deal two damage to a random friend for each turn. Oh, that's so bad. Or bowling ball. Whenever a friend faints, deal three damage to the friend behind. So that means every single turn, I take two damage. And then every single death, it's three damage. All my pets are so weak, two or three damage will kill them. Two versus three, I think is better. Oh, dude, they both suck. Camel? Ooh. Combining the peacock, making it a tank. Yeah, I think I just have to focus on making my peacock and camel tanks for this turn and the next turn. And then the three behind, 07, they're gonna die. 
Giraffe, huge. Getting health is really hard in hard mode. So getting the giraffe now is really good for the next turn. I'm also going to freeze the garlic because keeping your health is going to be important. Especially if I get another bad toy that takes away health every turn. What? It did so much! Oh, it means turns in game? Since I'm on turn 5, it did 5 rock damage of 2. Oh. Okay, that's fine. I thought it meant turn like every single animal attacking. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it was. I've never gotten that bad toy before, so I wasn't sure. Ooh, W camel, level it up. <laughs> Blowfish! That's so good. Are there modes with type advantages? No. There's not. The only... Because there's different modes for every pack type, essentially. In easy mode, you get plus two additional hearts. Like, attempts. Yeah, it's easy mode is easy. It's nice. You should... If anybody wants to play, you should start with easy mode. That way you... Like, live through the game longer, so you see all the perks of all the different pets in each pack. I just spat all over my monitor. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's see. I have a lot of good things to choose from right now. Hmm. Combining the goose. Blowfish is also good. But so is the giraffe. Hmm. I'm getting rid of the worm because I think getting additional money every turn is more important. Giraffe. Swapping the blowfish in front of the giraffe. I have four coins left. Keeping that apple frozen. Rerolling. Another camel. Nice. Rabbit could also be good. But I think money is more important right now. In turn. Yeah, with those stupid bad toys, you like insta die. It's so dumb. But it's okay, I still have four hearts left. It's fine. It's because my giraffe and swan are so low health. Okay, new bad toy. Unicycle, start a battle. Give enemies front to back plus one attack plus one health for each turn. Oh, so that means it's turn seven now, right? That means all my opposing pets will have plus seven for both perks. <sighs> start a battle. Deal 30 rock damage to the lowest health friend. Triggers two times. Okay, since the giraffe and swan are dead anyway, let's do the dodgeball. Giving all my opponent giving all my opposing pets plus seven is a lot harder to manage. Hard mode is so difficult. <laughs> you like actually have to think. So I have to focus on making these three pets tanks. Okay, Blowfish takes two less damage, so that means it technically has nine hearts. Apple to the camel, reroll. The garlic perk is good to get now. Garlic to the camel, reroll. Ooh, a pear, W. I'm gonna move the Blowfish behind the camel. Oh no, I should put the peacock in front. Yeah, that's good, that's good. And turn. Because I just want to keep the camel in front of the blowfish, because if the blowfish can take more hits, then it does more additional plus three damage. Ooh, draw is good. I always get scared whenever I see the board, because whenever the pet in front of them dies, they get a melon. 
which is not good for me. For them, it's great. I don't want the kangaroo. I want to keep this build right now. At least until the dodgeball is gone. Because either way, giraffe and swan die. I think I need to make my blowfish as tanky as it can be. Ooh, two health items? Huge! Ooh, the parrot could also be good. Damn it, I should have... Fuck. I should have sold the swan for the parrot. God damn it. I wasn't thinking. Not understanding the game makes me think you're gonna win with one HP, but then a random effect happens. Yeah, it's just like Magic the Gathering. You never know what to expect until you see all the cards on the table. Ooh, summon build cringe! Oh, I got this. Dude, I'm still crushing in hard mode. Three trophies, four hearts left still? Wait, am I good at this game? Mod changed the title to Pro Sap Player. Turn nine. Okay, there's gonna be a new toy. Action figure, start a battle. Give coconut to enemies front to back for every second shot tier. Coconut, ignore damage once. That's fine, it's basically like a melon. That means I have to tank the first hit, and then do damage to the next turn. Boomerang. Deal 30 damage to the highest health friend. Ah, oh, so that means they're gonna die. Who's my highest health friend? Oh, shoot. Losing the blowfish is not good. Ignore damage once. I think I have to take action figure, because losing the blowfish ain't it. That means I have to make my top three super tanky. Reroll! Okay, give a plus one or random plus ones. Giving it to the Pigox so it's guaranteed. And turn. Aw, oh, man. I actually gotta like scratch my head and think. Oh, the enemies don't have a lot of health. Oh, it only gives the first two coconut perks? <gasps> I thought it was gonna give it to everybody. That's huge. Okay, I'm, I'm no longer worried. This isn't that bad. I think the key to sap is knowing all the perks of all the pets. So you know how to basically counteract most everything. Okay, four trophies, four hearts? Wait! I've never gotten a hard mode win. I've never. Let's see. Leveling up the peacock, of course. I also... The bad toys I'm getting aren't horrible. It's because with my playstyle, I usually make my pets tanks. And a lot of the toys I'm getting are decent against tanky pets. Ooh, mammoth. Whenever fates give friends plus two. That is huge. That is actually insane. I'm gonna sell the swan. Because getting a mammoth is very good. And if you get a mushroom with a mammoth, you're essentially giving your friends plus fours. Salad bowl, random. And then... Freezing the mammoth is so meta. Yeah, that's so real and true. I did say I'm an educational channel. <laughs> okay. The cupcake is fine, but I don't want to do like a temporary increase. What is good is that the mammoth has base. I think it was 12 health or 11. So that means the mammoth will be able to tank along with the peacock. I'm going to buy the camel. I don't need the cupcake. End turn. Ok, 
Okay, the mammoth did not tank. Uh-oh. Wait, W! The blowfish is hard carrying, literally. Okay! Five trophies, four hearts left? <gasps> I've never seen this toys. Handkerchief. Make friends front to back, weak for each shop tier. Pl take plus three damage. Or deal two damage... To all friends whenever a friend faints. Oh, wait. Yes, there is a ranked mode in SAP, but it's only for, like, closed lobbies, and it's very difficult. I like Arena a lot, still. Whenever, like, I feel very, very confident, then I'll try ranked lobbies. Okay. Whenever a friend faints, deal two damage to all friends. So that means the pets in the backpack will take the most damage. Either way, giraffe will die instantly. Right now, my blowfish has 17 health. So since the three pets in front of it will die, it will take an additional two rock damage for every death, but then it also does an additional three rock damage. Versus handkerchief, make friends front the back, so that means my first two take plus three damage for every time... They get hit. I think the ring pyramid is good because every time, or when these three pets die, he'll take a hit, so it's guaranteed a plus three rock damage to the opponent. <gasps> Mushroom to the mammoth is huge! Oh my god! I kind of want the scorpion, but I don't need it, I don't think. Because since I have the Mammoth, if it dies, it's good for me. Especially now that it has the Mushroom perk, it's good if I get a, a build opponent that has a Scorpion in the front. Wait, I feel really good about this. Ooh, should I keep the Parrot? <gasps> oh my god, wait, wait, wait. A Parrot would actually be huge. We get rid of the Giraffe, put the Parrot behind the Mammoth, that way the Parrot... The parrot copies the mammoth ability, so then it would also, when the parrot dies, it'll give a plus two, plus two. Oh my god, that's insane. Selling the giraffe. Everybody has ample health. Find the parrot. Putting the parrot behind the mammoth. Oh my fucking god. Type one if you are following what I'm putting down. Or picking up what I'm putting down. <laughs> Does anybody play sap? Reroll. Hi, welcome in, Dawn. Feel free, chat lurk. Whatever makes you happy, but welcome in. Also, thank you for the follow earlier. I really do appreciate you waiting the 10 minutes to chat. Thank you. Poke Rogue? Oh my god, I forgot I can play Poke Rogue finally. Oh my god. Holy shit. We'll do that next week. Guys, stream ends when I beat Poke Rogue. Welcome in, Dawn. Can we get some yos? Guys, new chatter. Welcome in. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do sushi, that way everybody gets plus one. Ain't no way another follower? Wait, should I play sap every day? Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. Wait, we're so close to hitting our daily goal. If we get one more follower, I will say thank you. Okay, let's see. End turn. This parrot build could go crazy. Ow, I hit my table. They have a 22 health duck. Oh my god, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. Look at that! <laughs> Six out of ten, baby! A chili? Ooh. Ooh. Heck yeah, you're gonna win hell yeah, brother. I, I've never had a hard mode win. If I clutch, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll say it. I'll be a pro sap streamer. I'll do it. The, the title is a lie. 
would imagine. Hmm. I have a lot of good items to choose from. I'm debating on who I want to give the chili to. I'm trying to think about who will do the most damage. Peacock it goes. Because that's 14 health and 10 damage. It'd probably get a few KOs. I could definitely see you turn pro. Is there even a pro scene? I, I wanted to become like a pro Mario Kart streamer. <laughs> but if you know, you know. I'm not doing it. I've also, because last week we did, we did the Cooking Mama stream, right? And obviously, I was not speedrunning. But the speedrun times for the Cooking Mama game, I think the PD is like two hours. The rank nine, which is the worst time, is five hours. Like, if I actually grinded, I think I could get top three Cooking Mama Cookstar. Peace and Sap Cup. If I had streamer friends, I would do tournaments all the time, but like, I don't have any. Because you can't trust anybody in this industry. Oh my god, a mushroom to the parrot. Oh my god, oh my fucking god. Holy shit. Winner gets a high five. Guys, if I win this round, I'll give all of chat a high five. Okay. I need to think. If I give the parrot the mushroom, it'll respawn. But I don't know if the respawn parrot will also still have the mammoth perk. But you know what? Let's try it. Why not? Mammoth won't level up. Camel will level up. Peacock won't level up. I'm going to keep the apple frozen. Find the camel that way it levels up. And turn. First thing I need to see is if the parrot will respawn with a mammoth perk. Oh, okay, it just respawns as a perkless parrot. That's... whatever. I think I should get- next time I get a mushroom, I'll give the mushroom to the camel. Oh my god, look at my blowfish. 4550. I'm gonna get my first hard mode win! Oh. Oh. Cardboard box. When all enemies have fainted, summon two 1-1 one, one enemy scorpions. Works one time per battle. That means when all five of their pets die, I have to raise two scorpions. Which, at worst, if they also kill my pets, it would be a draw. And at best, I would have one pet remaining. Yeah, scorpions do one shot because they do have the peanut perk when they spawn in. At this point, I want to stay alive. And even if you get a draw, it doesn't count as a lost heart. Versus dodgeball, deal 30 damage to my lowest health friend twice. Let's see, my parrot has two health, which is my lowest. And then my next lowest is camel, and I need to keep the camel alive. Yeah, because I think cardboard box is the best option. Because like I said, if it summons two enemy scorpions... At that point, if I somehow get through all of the enemy pets, all five, with, like, even one pet remaining... Oh, wait, no! If they have one scorpion remaining, I would have to make sure that I have... Oh, shoot. I would have to make sure that I have at least two pets remaining after the scorpion spawn. So that means my first three pets have to take out all five pets. Ooh. Oh, that is... But, deal 30 damage to the lowest health friend twice. Losing the camel is not good. I'm gonna do cardboard box. Because usually, as of, like, the past few turns, usually my first three will take him out, if not the, the camel. And if I lose two hearts because of the cardboard box, it's fine. It's fine. Buying the apple, and then I'll re-roll. Apple. Apple to the peacock. Reroll. 
pear, pizza, and blowfish. Given the pizza, so it's random, I don't want to think. Hmm. None of my pets are close to leveling up, so I'll choose the pear, because it's plus two. Pair to the camel, because that is the least amount of health. End turn. Let's see if the cardboard box cooks me. A 36 and? You're crazy for that, man. You're crazy. My god i forgot if i put the blowfish in the back and the blowfish dies it still does rock damage and the scorpion is one one so it kills oh my god i am a genius that was the unintended but desired action or er, action outcome oh my god that's crazy that's crazy that's crazy okay chocolate to the blowfish level out the blowfish now it does plus six rock damage Oh my god, I'm cooking. I really wish I would have given the mushroom to the camel. I really do. Apple to the camel, next turn. Seven trophies! L summon build. Nah, ain't, ain't no way. Wait, maybe there is a way? That's okay, the cardboard box toy is now gone. It's okay, I still have three hearts. Pogo stick, multiply attack and health of the lowest health enemy by four. That could be good. Or pill bottle, knock out the frontmost friend. Knocking out the frontmost friend is fine, because the purpose of the mammoth is to die anyway. But, the mammoth kind of tanks hits. I think it's more advantageous to do the pogo stick. But we are on turn 15, so usually opponents' pets- Oh, it's too late, I already clicked it. It's too late. Reroll. Let's see. Leveling up the Mammoth? W. Now it's... Whenever it faints, it gives friends plus 4 attack, plus 4 health. That is good, because that'll help combat the... Lowest health enemy multiplied by 4. 3 coins left. 3 random pets plus 1, or 2 random pets plus 2. Let's do 3 random plus 1s. Okay, that was good. I usually just watch your VODs on YouTube. Wait, guys, a rare VOD watcher? That's crazy. Hi, welcome in, Marceline. Can we get some yos? I'm glad you're able to catch a stream. Welcome in. I hope you enjoy. And thank you for waiting the 10 minutes to follow. I really do appreciate that. But welcome in. Can we get some yos? Guys, so many new chatters. Should I play Sap every day? Like, what's going on? <laughs> but welcome in. I'm glad you enjoy the YouTube. Let me just say, Twitch better than YouTube, but YouTube you get like the nice meat and potatoes of the streams. Yes, I have considered, because usually for shorter streams, I want to do like a daily game, and I'm determining or deciding between chess or sap. But sap is more fun, and chess is for nerds, right? Oh wait, I, I'm out of money, enter. 
I feel so good. Imagine I lose. I'm gonna cry. Lowest health enemy is the parrot or the deer. That's fine. Oh, they do have a zombie fly. Uh oh. Uh-oh. <gasps> I forgot we no longer have the cardboard toy. Okay. Okay, this is fine. This is A-OK. -okay. But I started watching during chess. Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> Mushroom! Okay, okay. Pizza for sure, I want to redeem. Reroll. Chili perk. Mushroom, of course. Ooh. Hi, Zaya, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Hey, I'm a nerd, but chess is fun. Nah, the one week I did play chess, it was really fun. But I feel like any time you learn something new, it's fun. But then you get to a point where it's too difficult. And I bet if I did chess, after a month, I'd be like, this is too hard and I feel dumb. <sighs> of course, gonna give the mushroom- No, wait, I gotta think. Should I give the mushroom to the blowfish? Mushroom to the blowfish? That way it does extra plus three when it respawns. Chili to the... Hmm. I'll give chili to the parrot because mushroom perk did jack shit. End turn. Don't feel dumb. Oh, you're so nice. But also, don't do the streak. And once you become competitive, it stops being fun. That's what I'm saying. Oh, wait, I'm kind of dying. What the fuck? Dude, screw this fucking rhino. The rhino is so bad. Whenever it gets a knockout, deal 12 damage to the first enemy. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Pogo stick or handkerchief makes the first two enemies weak plus three damage. I'll take the handkerchief because I genuinely don't want to multiply enemy health anymore. I'll give the pair to Peacock, because it's the lowest. Reroll another chili. Mmm. I'm moving my blowfish up, that way it gets to the action quicker, so therefore it would take hits quicker, and potentially take out more enemies quicker. Also guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click follow. We've already gotten 4 followers today, can we hit our daily goal of 5? And if you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on, that we don't miss a single stream. Okay, six coins left. Nobody's close to leveling up. Two hearts left, three trophies away. I'm gonna save chocolate for next turn. And I'll give the chili perk to the camel, because it already has 18 health. And I'll buy the pico, because I don't want to give the chocolate to a rando. And then have a chance of a recurring pet spawning. Okay. I'm nervous now. Ugh. 
Oh no. Wait, he gets it to everybody? What the fuck? Okay, usually when it says pets front to back, it only gives it to the first two. Oh no. Okay, reroll. Ah oh, shit, this is all bad. Fuck. Reroll. I can only buy two items this round. Okay. I could purchase the peacock and then level it up. And then it would gain, I think, plus 9 attack or plus 12. Am I gonna try a pet build on the next run? I'm sad to say, today was supposed to be a short stream. This could be my last run. But what's a pet build? I don't, I'm new to sap. I've only been playing for like two weeks. I only... I don't, I don't know what the metas are. I just know summon build. I usually do offensive builds. I have to think and ponder here. I don't want to lose. I got so far. My parrot won't level up, the blowfish won't level up, the peacock won't level up, but I could level up the peacock. I could also level up- Oh, wait. It could be good. I forgot. It's a level 1 parrot. I could buy the parrot and level it up, that way it copies the mammoth ability, so that way it gives the additional plus 4s as well. Thank you, Zayo. I forgot about the parrot. Yeah, because the peacock, if I level it up, it'll only, like, increase his base- for potential added attack. It probably is a safer bet to level up the parrot. So now it copies as a level 2, so that means when the parrot dies, it'll give all my friends plus 4s. Okay, let's hope this works! If it doesn't, I'm gonna cry! Clippers, get ready! They all have such massive health. Do the four damage to the lowest health enemy three times. Oh, it's gonna kill a parrot. Oh, and I forgot I have the disease guy's mask up. turn 18 eight trophies this is only like my second time trying hard mode damn i was doing pretty good shit man that was actually such a good run well guys I did say today was going to be a short stream. And you know what? I would never lie. So, the plan is simple. I will be live again tomorrow with a new story game. I was looking at your art. It's beautiful. Oh, you're so sweet. Yeah, all the paintings back here are ones I've made. And there's a special discount code. Bookmark the website. But thank you, Dawn. I appreciate that. You also said you were going to be quiet? Nah, she's asleep. I told her to text me if I was too loud, and she did not text me. For context, my sister works night shift, so, like, I, ha I have to be quiet during the day. Earlier, I had to help her set up the blackout curtains. There's no light in her room. But it's fine. If I was too loud, she would have told me. So we're good. Anyway, guys, the plan is simple. I will be live again tomorrow with a new story game. So if you want to stay up to the lore, watch the stream, don't miss it. 
But now, we're wrapping up stream, so you know the drill. We're going to do calligraphy. If you subscribe or use your channel points, I will write your name. So guys, redeem now if you want your name written. Okay. Because we did get two resubscriptions today. Thank you for the stream, of course. But don't worry, I'll be here for like another 10-15 minutes. Unless... Nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let's do a different comp. I like this one better. Yeah, I'm setting up the second camera. While I'm setting up the camera, make sure... You're subscribed to my YouTube channel. New weekly stream highlights every Saturday. And daily clips on the Clips account. Go subscribe now. It's free to sub on YouTube, but on Twitch it's $6. Thank you for redeeming Dawn and Tooth. Nobody look at my butt. If you look, you're banned. Oh, and if you guys like SAP, I did I did actually post a SAP YouTube video. It kind of got ratioed. I don't know how niche SAP is. I remember watching like Ludwig and NL play it years ago. I think NL still sometimes play it, but I just avoided it for the longest time, and I wish I would have played sooner. Thank you for redeeming, Kim. Okay, let's see. Does it work? Oh my god, there's two of me. Bunk up. No free feet today. Unless? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Man, my stomach hurts. I did say this shirt fits a little bit better, but it's still tight on my tummy. Okay, let's see. We had two resubs. Ain't no way. Thank you for the prime sub, Emerald. I also saw you follow today. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. Can we get some Emeralds in chat? Thank you. Also, type in chat so I could like say thank you. But thank you, guys. Plus one. But thank you, Emerald. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Can we get some Remeralds? Thank you. I appreciate that. Dude, what is going on? I don't stream for like four days and you guys like are so nice to me. What is going on? Did you guys miss me? Type one. And you know what's sick, Emerald? I'm going to write your name like right now. Yeah, thank you, Emerald. You know what? I'm small. I like to give extra attention to those who do support, so. 
you know, you gotta glaze. I love your TikToks and reels. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy. Um, if you only watched clips primarily, my normal streams are like variety, but I do try and do Mario Kart every other week. I do try. Wait. What is that? Ain't no way another Prime? Wait, what is going on? I'm not Ludwig. I don't shield Primes. But thank you. Can we get some Warsalines? Thank you. Thank you. Wait, pause. Everybody stop what you're doing. If you're watching on desktop, it's here. If you're watching on mobile, it's here. If we get one more subscription, Prime Sub or Big Cheer, we'll get a hype train. It's been a while since we've had a hype train. And you can get exclusive Twitch emotes. If we have one more subscription or bit cheer, we'll have a hype train. But thank you, Marceline. Thank you. I really do appreciate the Prime. You know what? All the streamers say they hate Prime subs. But you know what? I'll say it. If it saves you money, why not? I love a Prime. But whenever you do Prime subscribe to me, you do sign a contract, like, indirectly, saying that you will tier one the next month. But thank you. Wait, how many subs am I at? Am I at 69 yet? <laughs> Wait, we're at 69 subs! <laughs> Yo! But seriously, thank you guys. You said glazed, and I laughed so hard I sucked. <laughs> okay, I don't whip out that word often, okay? I'm just saying, PG-13 stream. <laughs> and I'll say, glazed donuts are my least favorite. <laughs> um, but enjoy the emotes that you guys now have. Put your favorite in chat. What's my favorite piece in emote right now? We added new ones like a month ago. I think Peace I 2 Wicked is still pretty solid. Guys, 30 seconds left if you want to hype train. We need we need one more sub or bit cheer. Smile. Okay. <laughs> I'm deleting that one, Don. I'm deleting it because I don't want to see it in my chat. I don't want to see that. <laughs> I need to, like, wrangle you guys in more. My new rule is going to be, if I don't want to say it aloud, it's getting deleted. Guys, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hype train is gone. Unless? And it's gone. You guys dropped the ball. SMH. It's okay. I appreciate any donation we get today, so thank you. Once again, thank you to Computer for the 19-month resub at Tier 1. Thank you for your continued support, Kim. Dude, my hands are so shaky. Ooh, Galeen! Look at that. I did go to art school. And if anybody asks, I have a bachelor's of science hyphen graphic design. Mm hmm. Forgot to dot the I. There we go.
I went to culinary school and it was cool for the most part. I was considering going to culinary school because it was either art or culinary, both like more, I guess you could say not technical, but like hands-on degree type programs. And the only reason why I didn't do culinary is because kitchen sounds scary. Because back when I was in high school, the only thing I knew about kitchens was Gordon Ramsay. And I was scared. I don't like when people yell at me. But I do wish I would have done it. Because, you know, art school is whatever. It's cringe. But I feel like you, you do learn a lot when you learn, like, more trade-type career paths. But I would not be able to be a cook now because my fingers are fucked. Hashtag disabled. <laughs> Once again, thank you, Vacantin. For the 14 month resub at tier 2, you're such a simp, but thank you, Vic. Okay, now for the prime subs we got today. This is such a pretty page with blues and greens. Can somebody mess it up with a red name? For all the new chatters, can I ask how you found my channel? Just curious, I'm doing a little bit of free market research. I know some of you guys did say, but like, tell me again, please, I forgot. Not saying that like, I don't care, it's just, we did take a cognitive ability test earlier and I kind of failed. Instagram, W. Randomly on Twitch? Wait, that's- I literally- I don't get anybody from Twitch. Wait, did you- okay. Twitch staff, I want you to tune in with your ears. Turn the dial. Did you find me on Twitch mobile or Twitch desktop? Because if you say desktop, then that just further proves that the new Twitch mobile app is ass. I'll wait. <laughs> Culinary school was so unnecessary. The first person I met there, I met that was a professor at culinary school, or we called them chefs, literally told us that it was not needed. I do feel like with a lot of technical degrees, you can learn on your own. But if I, I don't know, because a lot of places won't take you unless you have technical training. You found me on PC, screenshot it, Twitch death. The Twitch mobile app is bad. Bring back the old app, or at least let me find VODs and channels easier. It's so stupid. But thank you, Dawn. The, wait, do I look friendly? Type one. Is this a friendly face? <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait, so does that mean you don't click on people you think look mean? <laughs> You're like, ah, oh, they look like a bully. I'm gonna swipe left. Wait, no. Wait, I don't. I don't have Tinder. Is swipe left or swipe right good or bad? I don't remember. I've never used Tinder, so, like, I don't know. One of my friends did tell me that I should download Tinder to, like, make friends. And I felt like it was a diss. Because they were, like, implying that I had no friends. Right is good, left is no. Oh, yeah, so then you swipe left on the mean-looking people. <laughs> wait, what? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Twitch staff, dial back in. What if... You, uh, no. I'm not saying to make it like Tinder, but if it's a stream you don't like, you swipe left, and then you swipe right for a stream you like. Wait. Because right now you just swipe up on the mobile app to, like, pull up the next stream. Wait. Twitch Jeff. You were recommended on my YouTube, and I loved your vibe. Thank you. Thank you, Marceline. Okay, I'm like too busy, yeah, but I need to finish this. Guys, no more talking. Just put ellipses. You know, I... <laughs> okay, I quit my job. And by quit, I gave them a one-month notice. I did not just walk out. But my sister lost her job last year, and I went to a lot of, like, the job training coach sessions she had to, like, help her find a job. And, dude, it's so hard to get a job nowadays. It's, like, 
disgusting, honestly. And a huge portion of job listings are just fake. And the reason why there's a lot of fake, fake listings is because businesses want to make them look successful. So if it looks like they're always hiring, then it implies that they're always expanding. But then it kind of fucks over people who genuinely want a job. It's so dumb. <laughs> My aunt went to culinary school and did not get a job anywhere. So it could be her. <laughs> no, no, no. If you want a job... I'm not even kidding. Vibes is the most important thing. Because if you look the same as everybody else on paper, if you make a really good impression at the interview, or if you follow up with emails or phone calls after, or if you reach out to staffers before your interview and ask for a job shadow, it shows that you have good vibes. People are more likely to be promoted if they are chill and a pleasant person to be around versus the person who does the best work. Because ultimately, think about it. Think about it. Oh, once again, thank you, Emerald Fur, for the new Prime sub! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I work in construction. It's easy to find the job, but it's hard to keep it. They will place you in an instant. Ooh, do you mean, like, they'll fire you, or they'll just, like, push you off the building? That's a joke, just to clarify. <laughs> it's a joke. Ooh. Okay. Uh, next name. I'm stalling so much. Holy shit. Love the calligraphy. Thank you. We do this every day. Besides the days that I don't. And the only days that I don't do this is if we get no subs or no channel points. So guys, if you want to stall the stream, just redeem with your channel points every day. And then I have to do it. Okay, I have to make sure I don't mess up the spellings, because these are new names that I don't know yet. W, I made it fit. <clears throat> I've been noticing, I say W and L, like, all the time now, in my, like, normal conversation. And I think it's getting to a point where it's very cringe. From culinary school to local deli worker? You know what? I'll say it. Deli workers are some of the nicest people you ever meet. Like at local grocery shops, they're always so nice. But that's because the more they're nice to you, the more they risk, the more you'll buy. So it's kind of like, it feels good, but then when you think about it, it feels kind of bad. Sorry, I just saw your message from earlier, Don. I don't read... Okay, I know a good handful of you guys are new. I don't read every single chat message. I only read it if it's funny. So be funnier. <laughs> you said you got a new job this morning. You showed up at 7 and they weren't there. Left at 8 on the bus and you called back to see if I would come back. You know, I think they should treat it like college classes. If the professor is late, you walk out. Fuck them. Or another thing... If they're not going to, like, train you properly, and I feel like a lot of Gen Z and Gen Alpha do this now, if the job isn't good and you're getting shit wages and they're not going to train you, just fucking leave. Like, why waste your time doing something that's shit when you can probably find something that's better? <laughs> I am pretty nice, but I'm not going to make you try and buy more than what you want. I feel like you're saying that just to cover your ass. You're lying. <laughs> Uh, I, I used to work at a, a Subway, so kind of like a deli place. And, not gonna lie, I was nice, okay? I'm a nice person, you could say. But I would be overly nice, because when I was management, like, positive reviews are game-changing. Like, literally, the Subway that I worked at had a 98% positive rating, because I shield surveys every day. And it was good because if people go online to like Google and see that your store is positively reviewed, they'll come in more. And also my manager liked me a lot because of that. And when I worked at the pizza place, it was a chain that rhymes with 
cut. Um, I wasn't required to show surveys at the register, but I did because, you know, that's what I used to do at Subway. And literally, the regional manager pulled me aside and they're like, oh my god, Peason, we've only gotten bad reviews for the past four months. And ever since you've been hired on two months ago, we've gotten like 10 positive reviews. You're a lifesaver. And I was like, thank you, sir. <clears throat> nope, it's actually how I am, Kappa. <laughs> Nah, I'm just messing with you, Marceline. I'm messing. Why are you what facing me? I didn't even say anything bad. Once again, thank you, Marceline Queen, for the new Prime sub. Thank you. Guys, look at that. Banger day. Also, can we, like, stop subscribing? I only have three pages left in the book, and I can't afford to buy a new one. Manager be like, you got me good reviews. Get fired. I did not get fired from any job. I would like to clarify, I did not get fired anywhere. I just left for a different job. And then the last job I had was back in 2021. And I left because it made me very sad. But, you know, hopefully I don't have to get a new job. Because, you know, what, streaming is pretty cool, right? I did say this. If I ever have to get a real job, I will not be able to stream. So if you guys, like... Want me to keep clicking go live? You gotta watch every single stream. You have to. Okay, now we're doing brokies. If you want me to write your name, all I must do is use your channel points. I mean, I just had my three-year stream anniversary. Like, imagine I quit now. Okay, H's are hard. That happened to my friend at their pizza joint job? Damn. I mean, some people don't like when people are too good at their job, you know what I mean? Because then they rock the boat, and then it makes everybody else feel bad about, like, how they perform at work. That's why I think if you get paid minimum wage, you should put 100% effort. Screw the people who say give 40% effort. Give 100% effort every day. Slash J, I'm joking. Fuck them. <gasps> clippers don't. Talking about Clippers, guys, I'm sorry, but we are three hours into stream, so I have to run an ad. If you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or... You can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and subscribe for free. Ain't no way. We've already gotten two Prime subs today. Can we hit our daily goal of a million? Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. There we go. It boomed. We're back in it. Oh, this red is dead. All my red pens die so quickly. It's so sad. You guys want to hear something funny? I went to the game store yesterday and I begged my sister to buy me a game. Because there's a few like local retro gaming shops in my area. And I go in and I'm like, oh my god, they have the Wii version of Endless Ocean. And it actually had the box art and the little like paper insert. I was like, oh my god, I want it. So she bought it for me. I get home and I found that I already had a copy of the game. But it was a used version, so it didn't have the actual box art. So I was like, fuck. I now have two copies of Endless Ocean. One with the actual box art, and then the other with just like a random sleeve, a random CD sleeve. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Minus $10. <laughs> I rocked the boat when I worked at the pizza place because I was really nice and I got the most tips and did some of the best reviews in the store. Wait, are we like twins? Wait. Alternate Peason? 
Okay, we have one more name left. Use your channel points and I'll write your name. I'm going to do Lavender for Kim because nobody ever redeems Lavender. maybe i said this many times but there was one time i was on the bus i think it was a year or two ago and there was a girl who looked exactly like me like same face same hair same build but like white it was so weird okay let's see okay guys i'm sorry but I did say today was going to be a short stream. So we're going to wrap it up here for today. Thank you all for watching any Chatter Circus. Once again, thank you to Marceline, Emerald, Vacantant. Sorry, I, I like saying Vic's name funny on purpose. You know, got to make fun of these here twos. And then Computer for these subscriptions today. Thank you all. Big day for peace in stocks. The plan is simple. I will be live again tomorrow. Let's say like 10 a.m. I did go live early today, but let's say 10 a.m. tomorrow. PST. With a new game. The game is called... In Stars and Time. So if you like my playthrough of Omori, it'll be very similar. And since it is a story game, make sure you don't miss the stream. Because if you miss the first stream, then you won't understand the next streams. Because I want to... I said this before. But for story games, from this point on, we're just going to stream them until I beat them. Not in one sitting. So, like, the game is about 20 hours, so it'll be, like, four streams. So, yeah, that's the plan. So, basically, the rest of this week, we're going to beat that game. And then, I still don't know when we're flying out to Hawaii. It's hopefully going to be next weekend. But I'll, I'll post on Twitter whenever I know for sure. So guys, make sure you're following my offline social media. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. Go follow all of them if you like what I do. And if you want something to watch right now, my newest YouTube video is This Video Ends When I Beat Super Auto Pets. Now, no spoilers. <laughs> it was a long stream. But the video is shorter, so <laughs> watch it now. And if you aren't already, uh, just subscribe to the YouTube. It's free to sub over there. Ain't no way. Bye, Tooth. Bye, Marceline. See you guys later. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys had fun. I hope you enjoyed. Once again, thank you to our followers today. Marceline, Dawn, um, and Emerald, and Beauty School Dropout. I think they were a bot, but hopefully they're not. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, Tooth. Yeah, I think today I have to make dinner. I'm going to make salmon tonight. And then I'll probably edit the human benchmark section of today's stream tonight. That way, like, I have a video done for Saturday. Yeah, that's the plan. Boys, the plan is simple. Also, no raid. Nobody's live. Do 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 do. It does not feel like it's been three hours. Like, did we really play SAP for two hours for just two games, bro? Bro. Do, do. Okay, the final minute. Do you guys have any last words? Oh, wait. Also, I forgot to say today's stream is presented by Peace Nard. Oh, my God. Click the link, go bookmark it now. And if you're a sub, you get a discount. Ain't no way. Do, 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 do. I declare bankruptcy? Wait. For what? <laughs> wait. Wait, for what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, talking about business? I said it's really easy to make a business account because I'm considering making a business account for my art instead of using my personal accounts. And dude, the credit limits you can get on a business credit card, like right off the jump, are insane. 
Like, there was one rate where it was, like, maximum 500, 2,500. There was one credit card you can get off, off the jump for 20k limit. Crazy. Which I'm not doing. That's dumb. Anyway. Thank y'all for watching.